Fires burned on the streets of Belfast as bricks, stones and bottles were thrown in another night of destruction and chaos. Rioters used petrol bombs and other missiles as they clashed with police in disorder sparked by anti-immigration protests. I have no doubt there is a paramilitary element to this, but I am not in a position to say that this is the main organiser or orchestrator of these events. However, we do keep an open mind to this and this will be part of our investigative strategy. It follows a weekend of disorder where many businesses owned by immigrants were targeted in the violence. One man was seriously injured in the unrest, which police are treating as a hate crime. The PSNI also says it's working closely with Angorda Siakana to investigate if people travelling from the Republic to Belfast committed any offences. We were aware on Saturday of the potential for people to have travelled from Dublin and the south into Belfast to take part in protest and or disorder and that is part of uh, the investigation that's ongoing to identify if any of those people committed offences who they are and to bring them to justice through our joint cooperative working arrangement. Elsewhere, violent scenes erupted in several cities, most notably in Plymouth, where bricks and fireworks were thrown at police. Several officers were injured as they attempted to keep rival protest groups apart. Hundreds of people have been arrested in connection with a wave of disorder. Senior police officers say those involved in the rioting will be prosecuted. Much of the unrest has been stoked by misinformation on social media about a stabbing rampage at a dance class in Southport last week that killed three young girls. More than 400 people have been arrested in connection with the violence.